Maria Lippmann, you, uh, one year has passed since the protest action and demonstration after the parliamentary elections in 2012. So uh, to what extent did the protest turn into political or oppositional action? Well, in fact, um, mass protests began in Moscow uh, in December 2011 after the parliamentary election. Uh, it was an outburst of civic sentiments. It would be wrong, however, to describe this movement as, uh, even the word movement actually is uh, not a very apt term, um, and even less so is to say political opposition. This is uh, um, civic activization. Um, these are people who are, um, um, who were um, outraged by the rigged elections and who took to the streets to express their outrage. Um, since then, uh, um, A, this was but an outburst, not a movement, no leaders, no obvious agenda, uh, no desire to actually participate in the political life, which is seen in Russia as the name of the government, plus the policy of the government itself has changed quite dramatically. And now the government has uh, uh, turned to a repressive mode. So it's no longer fun to be in the streets and to, uh, to chant Russia without Putin. And which parts or groups of the protest movement are ready to play a role in politics? Well, actually, this is not a political phenomenon. Um, the, uh, there is uh, little interest in Russia to come together uh, for big social groups to try and express their interests uh, through political means. Uh, there is an appetite, there is an interest, and there is desire and skills and experience with civic activism, but not, not with politics. It is assumed um, very broadly in Russia that politics is controlled by the government, and it's no point even trying. Um, uh, so regardless of uh, um, what kind of discontent people may have, they stay away from politics. Uh, just recently, the government even uh, um, liberalized the um, uh, electoral legislation, and it's easier today to start a new political party. And indeed, uh, several dozen of them have been launched. However, this uh, generated little interest among the people. No new figures, no interesting programs, no interesting ideas, but first and foremost, uh, people are not attracted by political parties. And to what extent is uh, the Coordination Council of Opposition able to integrate and organize the different groups within the opposition? Well, Coordination Council is an interesting phenomenon because uh, this has been the first attempt ever of non-government, of autonomous uh, civic forces to try and hold an election of their own. Um, it was a very modest endeavor, uh, and not too many people took part in this election. Uh, the council itself um, uh, is about discussing, it's about, um, um, well, debating club, they, they, they discuss various initiatives, but again, uh, there is absolutely no chance for them to participate in politics. It should be remembered that the government in Russia, the Kremlin, Putin, have tremendous advantage over societal forces in all kinds of resources, whether, whether uh, we're talking about money um, or um, government control, actually full control over uh, the legislature, uh, which can pass any law whatsoever if the Kremlin wants them to, um, over um, the law enforcement, over the judiciary, which makes um, um, the society uh, and uh, societal attempts to organize uh, very weak vis-a-vis -vis 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 the government. And how democratic and modern is the opposition council itself? Well, within itself, uh, it is uh, perfectly democratic. Uh, it's, uh, 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 it consists of people with uh, different political leanings, uh, nationalists, liberals, uh, left-wingers. Uh, uh, they, they, they try to reach consensus. They try to figure out ways to take decisions. But it should be remembered that it's still a very modest attempt. It's something that maybe uh, uh, similar to politics, but it, of course it is not politics per se. Politics is controlled by the government today. Uh, the government is able and has been able for many years now to bar the entry to the political field uh, to any force or figure that is deemed undesired.